Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I am now 32 weeks pregnant. <laughs> so this is going to be my pregnancy update for the past week. So I have a few like symptoms to update on and things like that in this but I've also got a few bits that I thought I would show. If you haven't already seen it I did a baby boy haul so that is now live on my channel I'll leave it linked down below but I bought a few like more bits for him which you can see there but I've also got some other bits for like him and me that I thought I'd show you like at the end of this video just so you know um but how has the last week been? Um um <laughs> it's been a bit up and down i am starting to find this hard and i'm going to put it out there for anyone else who is probably finding it hard as well um this is my third pregnancy obviously if you're new to my channel i've got a five-year-old little boy and a nearly 21 month old little girl and this is my third baby in my tummy who is going to be due just before my little girl turns one so i will have two under two for about a month <laughs> um but i am i'm just finding it harder this time i feel like having a toddler and also being heavily pregnant and working from home and taking on the majority of the chores and the housework is really starting to take its toll on me and i'm massively trying to cut back the amount of work that i'm doing because i feel like i just can't always handle it not that i'm gonna like slack or make less videos but i'm trying to reduce the pressure that's on myself another struggle is that daisy has obviously had chicken pox and bill had it over new year and i feel like for the past month i have basically been in quarantine with them because obviously when your little ones have got chicken pots it's best to stay out of the public eye <laughs> so to speak so you're not passing it around to loads of other children because it is quite contagious and that's obviously what we did but we did that with Bill there was a little break in between then Daisy got it and I'm doing it again with Daisy but obviously now Mark's back at work it's not Christmas anymore it's not like the holidays anymore and juggling caring for her when she's been obviously very grumpy because she's not feeling well and trying to care for myself and trying to get everything done and get back into the normal routine and the swing of things has been really hard for me and I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna dress it up because I'm not I'm not super mum I'm a really basic mum <laughs> I'll be honest but there's just been little moments where I've been exhausted like she's not been sleeping through and she's been coming into our bed it's the only way that we can settle her and obviously when you are quite large in the old tum there's not as much room in the bed anyway and she wants me more during the night so it's my kind of time to step up and I can't fit in the bed with a baby in my belly and a baby in my arms it's, it's almost impossible and I think I fall asleep hanging off it just out of sheer exhaustion to be honest but it's just been one of those weeks and I think that we're just gonna have to ride it out and see how it goes in terms of symptoms one of the things that I've noticed now is that with my heartburn I'm on a omeprazole for my heartburn if you didn't already know I took it every three days and now i'm taking it every two days like every other day basically because it's really amped it up again and i'm finding that if i miss those tablets i feel horrendous like i feel really really unwell i've also noticed that i am starting to crave a lot of sweet and sugary things which isn't necessarily very good so cake pastries biscuits chocolate sweets ice cream everything that is covered in sugar <sighs> yeah all of that is basically going in my mouth at the moment and i'm trying to watch what i'm eating and i'm trying to have like balanced meals and healthier meals and stuff but it just seems to be calling out to me and it's quite hard to resist i won't lie on the flip side though what i have noticed is that i simply just don't have the same amount of room in my tummy anymore so when i am eating i get full quite quickly i get this feeling in my throat that makes me kind of feel like am i going to be sick <laughs> so that's not great and then obviously as mentioned last week i have a extremely active baby and he is still causing me quite a lot of issues it's just it's making me feel so uncomfortable sometimes on sunday night he engaged so if you don't want to know what that means basically he was there ready to go basically like if i was further along like it could have been the beginning of labor put it that way but he had his head right down in my pelvis he was pushing against my cervix i could feel it i had backache because of it i had braxton hicks because of it and i was in so much discomfort and then by monday morning he'd like got himself out of there but my goodness it just feels like this child is 
on his way out like he, he he seems to just not want to be in there anymore basically but you have to wait because it's not safe to come out yet so yeah that's been that's been uncomfortable and then the other thing that i've noticed that is a little bit new um is that i feel like my hands and feet on occasion are starting to swell if i have been very busy that day or maybe not drunk enough water and i feel like my skin is a little bit itchy i think it's like the excess fluid and just the general like getting bigger kind of thing and my hands are just dry anyway and i just feel like that's coming as part of it but they just i don't know when i look at them they don't completely look like my hands anymore they look bigger and i don't like it so we're gonna hide them down here but yeah that is kind of the gist of all of my symptoms to be honest aside from all the other stuff i've already mentioned before that i'm going through like just you know tiredness backache uncomfortable blah 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 that's pregnancy isn't it um but it's just getting to that stage now where already today i am 32 plus two because it's thursday and i change over on a tuesday but uh, the weekend will be here tomorrow basically and then by the time next week rolls around i'm 33 weeks and i just feel like the weeks are flying i have like a busy weekend this weekend anyway because we've got like a birthday party and we're going to ikea to get a few bits sorted and next week we're having like flooring and carpet fitted and our hallway stairs and landing it's my 30th birthday on thursday we've got birthday plans at the weekend i've got a work thing to do at the weekend then by that point i'll be 34 weeks and then it's just going to get into february and then when i'm in february i can go oh i'm having a baby next month and then obviously february is a short month it's valentine's day it's going to be like the anniversary of daisy's cleft repair because she had a cleft repair on valentine's day so that's like an important day for us as a family and i just feel like the weeks are rapidly flying and then it's going to be the 13th of March on my due date and I'm trying to get my head around that because we don't have a nursery for this little boy because obviously we have a three bed house Daisy is in you know her room Bill's in his we have ours so we're going to keep baby boy in with us for six months and try and just make that work with space and we'll just do our best and we're planning well we're saving up for an extension basically so hopefully that all goes ahead and then if we do need to move Bill and Daisy in for the meantime just with bump beds just to sort of get us through to the extension and put the baby in his own room just so he wakes less people up then that's what we're going to do but it just feels like because I'm pregnant there's no nursery for me to prep so I haven't got a proper place for his clothes and I haven't got proper plans and we haven't built anything and I think that's making me feel a little bit anxious so I really just need to calm down and that's why we're going to Ikea at the weekend just to look at storage and stuff and prepare now as i mentioned i wanted to show you a few things that i've like collected up since that haul um i've actually been to primark today there's a massive primark bag over there which is full of bits for my hospital bag because i'm really trying to get that sorted so i can do a video as soon as possible for you all because i know that some of you are due before me and i want to be helpful where i can but basically it includes things like these yes these are giant full knickers like massive massive knickers but you know they're needed but yeah i'll be hopefully filming that video very soon for you all which will be exciting for me as well as you i'm sure but i've got some other bits that i picked up from primark while i was there and they're like just for the baby really so the first thing is this pack of bandana bibs and they were two pound 80 and they're unisex there was more boy themed ones like one of them said like handsome like daddy on which i wasn't I'm not really a fan of stuff like that so I went for the unisex one and they basically have this top one which has little animals all over it then there is a star print one and then a stripey one and they're just going to be really useful I like the bandana bibs the best I feel like they fit more comfortably and soak up drool better and then the next thing I picked up was a pack of Primark muslins now I really like these how much are they let me see they're three pound thirty for a pack of three and i've got the blue themed one because i just fancied it they wash really really well they're a good size they're just handy to chuck in and you don't have to be precious about these ones because they're not very really expensive at all so i picked some of those up and then for four pounds i saw these and they are disney baby at primark and these are winnie the pooh themed ones and they're just they're really really cute and obviously if it's nice to get like aiden and anae ones i know that they do some like disney themed ones don't they um and kath kidston has like disney themed bits but they're both really expensive brands so i thought for four quid for three these would be such a lovely little gift and i couldn't resist them because we love winnie the pooh so i got those as well so the next things i want to show you are really really cute they just mean a lot to me because of the person that bought them i like i can see his excitement coming through 
you put it that way. And Mark got these and he came home from work with them yesterday and it was really quite cute because I can tell that he's excited. I think when you're the pregnant lady, sometimes your partner doesn't really quite get on your level because they're not going through it in the same way, but to see these just really made me laugh. Now, they're not, <laughs> they're not like the sort of thing I would dress my baby in, but it matters to him and he's a massive football fan. Mark supports Preston North End. Preston is where he's from, if you didn't know, and it's also where I went to university, which is quite weird, because uh, we never met, but we crossed paths a lot. We just never knew it. And he, he's got these. And it says Preston North End dribbling for PNE, and there's a little, like, vest and then some bibs uh, or a bib i know there's two bibs and he, he couldn't resist and like that's his way of getting excited about his son so who was i to like pull a face like, i just think it's really sweet it's lovely to see him getting excited because i know it's different for him and they just really made me smile now the last two things i want to show you i was actually sent i have the good fortune of getting to try different bits as like a vlogger for a job and i know i'm very lucky but i thought i would share them because I'm really excited to use them. So the first thing that I want to show you is this and it's the Love to Dream Swaddle Up and it's like a swaddle sort of sleeping bag but for newborns you can go up a size if you need to as well if your baby really enjoys it but it looks like this. I've seen these around so much and I'm so excited that I get to try one but basically you pop your baby in there. Now the nice thing is is that it has access here if you are say like you know traveling or something like that which is useful and then you have a zip from the bottom and a zip from the top so you can get their legs out and change their nappy without disturbing them up at the top and basically baby can be all swaddled up like this but their hands can be like this rather than like wrapped up like this if they don't like it and it just means that they feel more secure but they still have that little bit of freedom and this was sent to me by cheeky rascals i think i will leave a link down below but yeah i am so pleased to try that i've heard really really good things about them and anything that will get this baby to sleep <laughs> is going to be a winner in my book and then the other thing that i was sent was these and these are the belly bandit bda leggings and bda stands for before during and after and they are really comfortable leggings that they grow and shrink with you basically and they sort of like hold you in and they adjust to your size which is really nice and i just thought oh my goodness these are going to be perfect for when i've given birth and then like for now as well um it's one of those the sad thing is the only sad thing is is that i kind of wish i'd got them earlier because you do buy some maternity leggings and you end up spending loads of money because they don't fit you properly or you don't like the style of them and stuff so i'm really excited to try these i actually might put them on after i film this video but yeah i'm going to quickly show you my bump and then i will let you go so this is my 32 week belly with clothes on and everything is getting very 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 big now and then this is it with clothes off and I don't know, I still feel like I can't understand how I'm going to get any bigger. I am getting like slightly itchy I would say over here and I haven't got any new stretch marks from what I can see but I do wonder if some of my old ones will stretch out a bit more, I'm not entirely sure. But yes, that is me at 32 weeks. So yeah, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching as always and hopefully you're all doing okay. Let me know if there are any babies that have been born in the comments below. Uh, I keep seeing loads of my friends have babies at the moment like, and it's making me so excited. I've got a few friends that are due imminently as well, like at the start of February and I'm a little bit jealous, but I hope you're all doing well anyway and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye. Bye.